Hi friends, this is Neil from the technical marketing team. Today, I'd like to show you how easy it is to backup and restore cloud object stores using Veritas Net Backup. This is the third video in a three-part series. In previous videos, I showed you how to add credentials and create policies. Now it's time to use one of those policies to backup a cloud object store. We've created schedules in our policies, but let's kick off a manual backup. We'll navigate to Protection and to Policies and right-click on the policy and select Manual Backup. We'll select the backup schedule we created and select the cloud object stores we want to backup. NetBackup not only protects the data in object storage, but it also protects the metadata, in this case, blob index tags. Notice we can choose whether to backup one or all of the listed cloud object stores to allow for granular backups. Let's head over to Activity Monitor to check out the backup. Here we can see the backups running in parallel. The backups are now complete. Now that we've done a backup, let's do a restore. Click on Recovery and then Regular Recovery. Under Policy Type, select Cloud Object Store. Here we can select the cloud object store that NetBackup can access. Notice the cloud provider is listed to help better identify the different cloud object stores. Here we can add any objects, folders, or prefixes to help find particular backups. Click on Backup History to browse the cloud object store backups. We'll select the backup that we'd like to restore. Next, we can choose from objects and folders to restore. If we go to Azure, we can see what's currently in our storage container and notice that data one is missing. Now we'll select where we want to recover the files to. Here we select to the original bucket, but you have many other options to choose from depending on your environment. Select the Net Backup Recovery host and provide the maximum object blob size. Everything looks good. Let's start our recovery. In Activity Monitor, we can see that the job is running. And now it's complete. If we go to Azure, we can see data one has been restored. Let's do another restore, and this time we'll add a prefix so we can restore specific items in the backup. Select Object Cloud Store from the policy type. Select our Cloud Object Store. Here we'll add our prefix as data, and data1, data2, and data3 will be restored. This time, let's restore to a different cloud object store. Here we can see all of our cloud object stores, and we'll search for demo and select demo2 as our new restore location. Everything looks good. Let's start our restore. In Activity Monitor, we can see the restore is running. The restore is now complete. Let's go to our Demo2 Cloud Object Store in Azure. And here we can see our three restored data files. If we take a closer look at the files, we can see the tags that were added to these files in an earlier video are present in the three restored files. How about another restore? This time, we'll add an object so we can restore specific items in the backup. Select Cloud Object Store from the policy type. 
select our cloud object store. This time we'll select from a specific backup and select a specific object from that backup. We'll restore to our same demo2 alternate location and we'll add a prefix to the restored files. Select the recovery host and the maximum object blob size. Everything looks good. Let's start our recovery. In Activity Monitor, we can see the restore running. The restore is now complete. Let's go to our Demo2 Cloud Object Store in Azure. And here we can see the prefixed labeled restored file. For our final restore, we'll restore a file to AWS. Select Cloud Object Store from the policy type. Select our Cloud Object Store. Note that this is an AWS Cloud Object Store. Click on Backup History and select the backup we want to restore. Next, we'll add an object and restore to the original location, but we'll add a prefix to the restored file. Select the recovery host and maximum object blob size. Everything looks good. Let's start our recovery. In Activity Monitor, we can see the restore starting. The restore is now complete. If we log into AWS and go to our Cloud Object Store, we can see the restored file. Thank you so much for watching this video on how to backup and restore Azure and AWS Cloud Object Stores with Veritas Net Backup. Thank you.